Hi guys, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around the Neo NACX, also referred to as the Liberator model Neo aluminum car trailer. Shown here is an 8.5x24, it's a 9,900 pound GVW. I'm going to take you for a walk around the trailer, show you some of the options on this. So most of the features you see here are all standard features. So up front they do a 7 inch double hollow triple tube tongue. They do the 2 and 5 16 inch ball coupler, sealed wire harness, and then they've got a zinc jack. Neo does an integrated frame. They have some of the heavier built frames and some of the neater built frames in the industry. In large part, that's due to the uh, fabrication capabilities they have in-house. A lot of manufacturers on these are more assembly plants than they are fab shops. Uh, Neo's got a lot of fab equipment in-house which enables them to do some pretty cool stuff. And we'll take a look at some of those. So if you look at the design at the front, it's pretty slick the way they've got the stone guard set up, uh, got the mitered corners. Notice they do the one piece round top cove. Uh, they've got the slant design to them, pretty neat setup. They do an 030 screwless exterior, screwless or bonded. Uh, they also have the one piece aluminum roof. Again, the cove is a one piece. So up top, it's not a seam together, color coated. Uh, it's a little thicker. Instead of an 030, it's an 080 and it's one piece instead of seam. Also, they do the RV style side door. Generally, you can tell manufacturers, uh, if they do it in-house, it's gonna be a strap hinge. These guys uh, do the nicer style RV door. Also notice the door holdback on this is an aluminum holdback, not a plastic holdback. Coming on back to the trailer, you'll notice this one's got the spread axle design uh, with the spread axle it's going to have the torsion suspension notice it's got the trim effects in front and back this one's upgraded to a, a black inlay aluminum wheel standard date of a, a premium steel wheel and then this has the 225 75 r15 radial tire it's a silver frost exterior you can go with different colors although we kept it simple on this one part of that is uh, this has the full size escape door. I'll show you that in a second or what some would refer to as the large escape door. And with that, you have to stick to a single color. It starts to look a little goofy with the big escape door on it. So let's take a look underneath the trailer. One of the things that I really like about Neo is how they frame. It's much different than most. Uh, so again, on this trailer, you'll see that's a seven inch double hollow mainframe, very stout. The cross members on this though are five inch tube. Uh, the few other manufacturers use a nice heavy cross member, uh, but these guys certainly have one of the heavier ones. You'll notice that triple tube tongue comes back. All the cross members are cut to fit in the integrated frame. Uh, again, that cross member comes back uh, about five, five cross members back. Very strong mainframe. Notice the cross members running back again are five inch tube. And you see your torsion suspension. Even the outriggers are also five inch tube on this. Neo's got pretty nice clean welds. Uh, these guys do not only uh, MIG welds, but they do a fair amount of TIG. You can see there, nice clean weld on them. Looks a lot different. Part of the reason their welds look different, these guys only do aluminum trailers. In fact, they only do aluminum enclosed trailers. You see many manufacturers that build steel trailers get into doing aluminum and uh, just doesn't look quite the same. They're just not all in on aluminum quite like these guys. A couple of things on the back ramp door. They do five hinges. Uh, they're a Teflon hinge, so they don't need servicing. Again, it's a hinge setup that never requires uh, service to them. You also notice they got, again, some pretty nice clean welds. Uh, they do a bit of uh, TIG and mixed in with TIG and MIG welds. They do a, some of each, not all MIG like you often see. Uh, this is a DT spoiler. You can get optional loading lights built into the spoiler. Uh, they do a stainless steel NXP ramp latch. Uh, very simple to use, good looking. Again, it is stainless. You also notice on the rear ramp door, that's an aluminum grab handle, not plastic. They use a nice, clean, clear lens LED thin strip light. Notice the rear ramp door uh, is trimmed out in aluminum as well. Notice the gusset plates they also put in the back corner. 
nice tight fitment with these guys everything seems to seal up pretty tight so on the nxp latch you would simply just takes a finger or two so a couple things this one's got the optional extruded aluminum floor uh, we did this because some of the floor finishes uh, the rubber tpos and uh, nudo and they don't cost a whole lot less than the extruded the extruded is a lifetime floor it looks very sharp a um, couple things that we like on this you notice there's no splices in the extruded floor uh, also continued the extruded uh, on the ramp as well and then when you go with the extruded they have an aluminum ramp flap extension notice also they hinge the ramp flap extension at the outside so you don't have uh, hinges going across a butterfly hinge they brand us the NACX again Liberator one thing I want to show you a lot of manufacturers if they have a problem structurally it's gonna be at the beaver tail and I'll show you what these guys did to uh, avoid that so underneath this they actually mill the frame down this is part of the reason these guys use a seven inch frame you'll notice the beaver tail gets milled down so there's no cuts and splices so with aluminum whenever you cut it and splice it uh, you end up losing temper you lose strength where it's cut and mitered or cut and spliced so this here is milled down it's a more extensive process but it's a better finish you also notice the back end of the trailer there's built out a box on the bumper that's critical it's not a fab part or a c channel again you notice they take those cross members five inch all the way back so again it is an extruded aluminum floor Notice they use the nicer rounded aluminum fender wells. This has the finished vinyl walls as well. On this one, we want the loose spare so we can get it mounted where the customer wants it so we don't have extra holes in the walls. They put the uh, breakaway battery box inside. They use a box tube in the wall, box tube in the ceiling. On this one, you'll notice it's got the premium escape door. Some call it the large escape door. Uh, this is a removable fender well large escape door you can pretty much get about any car in this particular unit so let's show you what this looks like from the outside this is why on this we couldn't do a two-tone you don't have to do a two-tone we do it on some but this one it wasn't an option partly because again of that escape door the door would be right where the split would be so this has two rv latches you can lock the handle you can also lock the deadbolts we open the one open the other one just lift the handle it pops right up very slick design so you got a step through fender of the well these guys have used a very simple automotive style uh, latch so simply with two fingers there we open that up same thing on this side. That simply, you can take that fender well out of there. You can load pretty much any car, any exotic that you want. So it's got an inside beaver tail, no-show beaver tail, as well as about a six and a half foot ramp plus a one foot or so ramp flap extension. Uh, very low approach angle. Uh, when you have a low approach angle, you can certainly get a low car. That's where the removable fender well and a large escape door would come in play so in this one the main three options you see on it would be the premium escape door the extruded aluminum floor and ramp and then this one's got aluminum wheels uh, it's got a black inlay wheel so again this is a 24 foot some of the common options we might put on a trailer like this uh, sometimes we do cabinets on them uh, sometimes we do a light package uh, sky's the limit some guys will do extra height We can take an order on these, depends on the time of year. Order times normally are about probably six to maybe eight weeks if it's a highly custom trailer. They also offer this in a few other models. Uh, they offer an NCBS, which is a spread axle typical car hauler with a V nose front, not the uh, flatter bull nose type front of the Liberator. You can get these. 
a little shorter a little bit longer as well different lengths there's about 10 or 12 standard colors you can get them in if you have any uh, questions on this or any of your other trailers give us a ring 717-220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com thanks for looking